Hello everyone, today I am going to demonstrate you how to access SAP ECC through Web GUI and what are the configurations or customizations that are required to access it. So there are some prerequisitions to access SAP ECC through Web GUI that you must have a SAP GUI installed in your system and you must have a user with all access that is your basis, basis access. So you have to log in the SAP GUI with your basis access. Now the very first thing is you have to go to the transaction code SMICM and go to go to tab parameters and dis and display it not change so I'm going to back go to parameters and display it. now you have to check what are the ports that has been assigned for the HTTP that is for the web GUI so you will see that is port HTTP for the HTTP prototype we have port assigned 8000 so you have to first check it that by the for the web GUI you have assigned the port 8000 or not so if it is 8000 that is okay for you you will go for the next step if it is not 8000 you have to first assign the port 8000 to the uh, web GUI client that is the port 0 so how to do that you have to go to your transaction code project 10 select the proper file extend the maintenance change now the parameters that is used to assign it is ICM front slash server underscore port underscore zero for the port zero and you have to press enter and here if port is assigned some other values you have to as you have to give the new value as prot SCTP port 8000 timeout 60 process time 60 so you will see that what is your previous value port is available here if it is zero here you have to assign the new value 8000 and you have also asked your server provider to open the port 8000 for the web GUI access that is very important and after that you have to save it as I have not done any changes so I am not going to save it you have to save it and as it is you have changed the parameter for the server you have to restart your server also so ask your business consultant to restart the server to make it activated and again when you go to the transaction code SMICM go to tab parameters and display it you will see like this your port is 8000 now we'll go to the next step so what is our next step we will go to check the services whether our services for the web GUI is activated or not we will go to transaction code SICF press enter here is hierarchy type service and you have to execute it now you have to check three type of services whether it's activated or not one for the web gui another one is for the ur and another for the mi mes so the path is you go to the default host go to the sap go to bc gui you can go to the sap its and web gui So you have to right click it and have check whether it is activated or not it is already activated for me if it is not activated you will activate it and you can also double click it to check whether the service is active or not so back the next service which we have to activate is again goes to the default host and go to the SAP then public and BC go to UR yeah you right click it and you have to activate the service also if it is not activated and the next service you have to activate is you have to go to the path is again default host SAP public ITS and MIMES. Right click 
and you have to activate it. You have to check whether these services are activated or not. You have to activate these three services to access SAP ECC through WebGUI. So now you have activated all these services. Now it's time to publish it. For publishing, we use the transaction code SIAC underscore publish underscore all underscore internal. Press enter. Now you will see at the bottom that it will start publishing all the services. So whatever changes you have made in, this, in your services, it will now publishing it. So as I have 1022 services, so it will publish all these services. So it will take time and I have to wait until it will publish all the services. So the first thing you have to do is you open the port 8000, open the port 8000 in server also. Ask your basis consultant or IST consultant to open the port 8000 for the web GUI and assign the FGI port as 8000 using the transaction code RJ10. And you must restart your server also. It's very important you have to restart your server to make effective. I will provide all these transaction codes in the description also and path also that we have been used to activate the services. So once all services have been published, you will see this screen which is a display log and it will show that all the, the services are published successfully. So that is all the configurations that is required to access WebGUI. So now we have to test our WebGUI. So go to your browser and in the browser you have to write HTTP colon front slash the IP that has been provided to you. So this is basically path. I will tell you what is the path. HTTP, then you have to call on double front slash. It is HTTP, not HTTPS, because we have to define the path for a. We have to assign 8000 port for the HTTP. So 8000 is the port. This is your IP 8432.135.130.5. That is the IP that has been provided to you by your server provider. Call on then 8000. That is the port. We want to connect front slash SAP, front slash BC, front slash GUI, front slash SAP, front slash ITS, and front slash web GUI. So it will taking to take you to the web GUI access. Now you have to be logged in with the username and password provided to you. So I will just show you. So you will see that I am accessing the SAP ECC through the browser, that is the web GUI. Transaction code should be run, right written in this. So you will see, I can do all the activities through the web GUI. see that all the transaction codes are run very effective here and the same transaction uh, is it working in the same way as you are working with the SAP GUI so now if you have any queries you can write in a comment or you can directly contact me on the details provided in the description box thank you everyone